Oh, I've got another video here on horizontal areas between curves. I mean, full disclosure, I'm just working through things that I didn't get the full proficient um, uh, designation, clarification, grading, whatever. And so, um, yeah, I'm gonna capture what I'm doing. So if I'm wrong and I'm upset about it, forgive me, but I'm just gonna try to work my way through it. This one is in the applications of integration from AP Calculus. And uh, you may have a question like pause whenever you need to see something, uh, if I'm showing like a hint or something. So anyway, um, the reason why I wanted to do this one also is because most of the problems that I've talked about have been where you're integrating with respect to x. And in this problem, we're not. We're integrating with respect to the y-axis. So we have this chance to discuss uh, other variables. What do you do when you have other variables? So yeah, let's start with number one. I'll work my way through at least one probably make a part two video if uh, the next video that I look at is, is different enough. Horizontal areas between curves. The curve is x equals 18 over the square root of 9y plus 19. So yeah, absolutely, you can graph it. You could solve that equation for y to get y by itself and have a function in terms of y. But because the function is defined in terms of x, we're actually kind of looking at it. Man, I wish I could like turn the screen and flip it. The the inverse picture, I'll, I'll try to draw it. So the inverse picture, something like this, x and y, if you can imagine it is flipped so that this is your new picture, I'm gonna trace it again. So it looks something like this. It looks like this line going like that. If you could take this and if you could not only spin it, but also flip it, this is what the inverse of that function would look like. And so the, the goal for doing that is just to kind of talk about how you can solve or set things up in a different fashion. We're looking at the, the x's, we're looking at the, not the x's, we're looking at the area under the curve, but under is relevant to like sideways. When sideways looking at the area under the curve, plus and plus. So that makes this uh, x plus and y plus. So I'm trying to like show how there's this relationship between the area we're shading when we're talking about the area contained between the graph and the y axis. That's this. But if you flip it and rotate it, it's this area. So this, just to center it on the, on the video, this right here, mouse wiggle, this right here is representing what we've already done. Integrate the function f of x with respect to x from some initial value to some concluding value, a to b. But we don't have that. We have the same picture, the same function, but now it's going in the y direction. So we still have to discuss um, limits of integration and the function itself. But then after we're done doing that, yeah, it's straightforward. Okay, so writing it out, we want to evaluate the definite integral from, well, this is where the mistake happens. People, uh, students, when they start these problems, they wanna say from zero to, I don't know, what is that, like two and a half? But the truth is we're actually evaluating on the tilt, we're evaluating from five to nine. In the y direction, the lowest y value is five. I'll put that here and we'll sneak peek through the paper. Boy, I wrote all over it, but we'll say, yeah, hooray, this is a five. So flipping and flipping, sorry for the noise. Five to nine is our limits of integration. The function x is defined in terms of y, so it's technically f of y dy. And uh, we just need the answer. It says square units. I don't want to, I mean, I could, I just don't want to do the whole deal thing right now. So I'm going to bring up my favorite resource. Sorry for the clicking noises. Desmos. And I need to capture it again. X as in f of y is 18 over 9y plus 19 square root. I'm going to go check that just to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so um, the nice thing about Desmos is you can go f of, of y equals 18 over 
9y plus 19. So this is really cool. It, it still gives us the picture, even though it's giving us an x and a y relationship, we want to integrate from 5 to 9 of f of y dy. 8. 8 is the answer. As in, that shaded area, oh, I could see that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like this little sliver can fill in that little sliver. So, 8. Yes. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and do this one as a different video. So, go ahead and pause this. Keep the video short for the first question. This, this second question, if you're like, what do I even do? Watch the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, notify, ring the bell. Um, uh, peace, love, math. Yeah.